Hey friends, welcome back to Miss Babs Learning Lab. So today we're going to continue to learn about the ER, IR, and UR sound. Can anyone tell me what sound ER, IR, and UR make? That's right, they say er. Our character from the animated literacy program, Whirling Irving, helps us with the sound ER, UR, and IR. And that sound says whirling Irving. Er, er, er. Okay, everyone do that with me. Whirling Irving. Er, er, er. Okay, for today's lesson, we're going to focus on IR. We're going to draw a picture of something that's going to have the IR in it. Okay, so make sure you have your paper and pencil. When you get your paper and pencil, make sure you write today's date at the top. It is April 9th, 2020. My four kind of went a little crazy. All right, um, remember on your paper, let's draw that line at the middle of your page. The top hat is always gonna be for our drawing and the bottom half is gonna be for our writing, okay? So first step, make sure you try to draw your picture in the same area that I'm drawing mine to ensure that you have enough space on your paper, okay? So first step is a circle, okay? Next step, line here, line here. down, up, okay, down and connect. We're going to draw a rounded line like this and another rounded line. We'll draw a line here on this side and a line on this side. Okay. Then at the bottom of this, we're going to draw, again, more lines and connect with a wavy line like that. Okay. Down at the bottom, we're going to draw two lines straight down and two lines straight down on the other side. Okay. We're going to loop that line around two loops here for shoelaces right here we're going to draw a line across maybe we can add some dots here okay here at this object we'll draw out lines that kind of look like Our object needs some eyes. I'll add some eyelashes. I wonder if you guys know what we're drawing. Okay, we'll draw a nose. A smile. Now we're not done, we're missing something. What does this object need? It needs some hair. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line over here like this. In, or a circle, excuse me. And from this circle, I'm going to draw some squiggly lines that look like this for pigtails. Okay. And right here, I'm going to add some bangs. Okay. Here we need an ear. Maybe she wants to wear some earrings. Okay. Boys and girls, what did we draw? That's right, we drew a girl, a girl, okay? Girl has the IR sound in it. So we're going to label that. G, 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 what's the first sound? G, g, what's next? Er, I, R, g, er, l, l, and 
label it. Nice job. We also want to underline that IR in that word to indicate that that's what we're studying. However, did you know that there are other objects in this picture that make the er sound using IR? Can you figure it out? Yeah, well, what is she wearing right here? That's a shirt, a shirt. Shirt has the IR sound in it. So let's label that. Shh is the first sound. What two letters makes the shh sound? S-H, shh. Er, I-R, sh, er, t, 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 sh, er, t, and circle it. So we have girl, shirt. There's one more thing that is in this picture that makes the er sound with I-R. Can you figure it out? Yes, down below, she's wearing a skirt, a skirt. So the verse sound, it's a blend, sk, sk, sk. What two letters makes the sk sound? S-K, sk, er, I-R, sk, er, t, 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 t. Interesting. I find that the word shirt and skirt rhyme. They sound the same at the end. Shirt, skirt. Wonderful job, boys and girls. So we have our IR sounds here. If you would like, which I always love, we always need to add details to our picture. Make sure you use your crayons, colored pencils, markers to um, add some beautiful colors to your illustration, okay? So um, my girl, let's see, it's a nice sunny day outside, so I'm going to draw the sun. She's outside playing. All right, um, we here have some grass behind her. We have some trees over here. Maybe she's outside of her home. I'll draw a picture here of her house. girl once you are done with all your details and drawing your picture we always want to write about the picture we drew so i want you to write sentences of this girl you can tell me a story about a girl if you are a girl tell me about yourself but make sure you are using these words that we have here girl skirt shirt in your sentences okay so pause the video and use this time to finish adding details and coloring your picture in writing those sentences. I want at least three sentences from you about the girl in her shirt and skirt. Okay, so go ahead and pause. I'll see you in a little bit and I'm going to finish my picture as well with my sentences. See you soon. All right, welcome back everyone. How did your drawing and your writing turn out? Did you add some color and more details? Excellent. So here's my finished picture of the girl wearing a shirt and skirt. My sentences, as you can see, have uppercase letters at the beginning, finger spaces in between the words. My sentences make sense, and there's punctuation at the end of my sentences, okay? It says, here is a little girl. Her name is Zoe. Zoe is wearing a pretty shirt and skirt. She loves to play outside with her friends, okay? I hope you had a wonderful time learning about the E-R, I-R, and U-R sound that says er, er, er with me today. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to my page for more educational videos. Bye-bye.